I kind of like the flavor molecules that we learned about. Flavors are made of hydrogen and like all that stuff. And I was like, so this is what vanilla is made of? That's so weird. The watermelon, the avocado, and the coconut are hydrophobic. Phobic meaning scared of and hydro meaning water. So because of its long carbon chains. To make them hydrophilic, you'd have to add more oxygens to the structure. It was nice to see how you can format the atoms in different ways. Like the black one I think was carbon and the red were oxygen. And then I can keep going on and on and on. It has heptanol in it, which means it has, the chain is seven carbons long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it has these two extras, which is the two in the beginning of it. And then it has a six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the two, so six, two, and then heptanol. Like, why is it that when I thought it was so, just like, vanilla is vanilla, vanilla is made of vanilla, that's it, nothing else. This one has an ester, which means that they have an oxygen, which has a double bond to a carbon, and then another oxygen right here. These two are aldehydes because they just have one double bond just to a carbon, and then hydrogen. But now I know that it's all these atoms and elements bonding together to make a flavor. And I didn't know that much elements could taste so good.